Happy Taco Tuesday to everyone out there. My name is CJ. I appreciate you watching today's video. We're going to discuss six different plus EV plays over on Prize Picks to hopefully help you take advantage of today's Taco Tuesday projection discounts. I hope everybody out there had a great extended weekend. Hopefully you were able to do something fun for Memorial Day, spend time with friends and family. Speaking of family, guys, we're over 10,300 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the like button now, get subscribed, and join us on the journey as we continue our march toward whatever the next big milestone is. Appreciate you in advance. So as I mentioned, today is Taco Tuesday. Prize Picks is doing discounts on a number of different player projections. There's no NBA tonight, but there are four WNBA games, and there's a whole bunch of MLB games for us to get our hands on. So the first taco is Tampa Bay Rays, Shane McClanahan strikeouts. They have been discounted from seven strikeouts all the way down to 5.5 strikeouts. Now I've looked at this projection. I've looked at this play on a number of different projection sites and models. And I have to say that it looks pretty good. He's projected for six, uh, six or more strikeouts, we'll say all the way up to eight strikeouts I've seen on some models. So, so somewhere between six and eight in that window. So uh, very good projections today for Shane McClanahan. No, it's not considered a free square. Yes, there's a chance that these tacos will crumble and fall apart in our hands as we try to devour them. So we know how it goes. Taco Tuesday, uh, whether it be that or whether it be those discount dogs, uh, not a free square, but it does look like one that I'll be taking the over on. So with that being said, let's get into today's prize picks plays. We're going to actually get into five WNBA plays that I'm going to put alongside of this Shane McClanahan taco and we're going to be using the daily grind fantasy optimizer to help us out with that now if you're not using the daily grind fantasy optimizer guys they're running a fantastic promo today uh, to celebrate Jimmy Butler's 28 points last night in that final closeout game against the Boston Celtics they're doing 28 percent off of your daily grind fantasy membership Today and today only. Now, I've left a link down in the description of today's video. So if you want to get your hands on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer and save 28%, that's where you need to go. You need to use the special link I've left for you down in the description of the video. Now, this is for new users and existing users. So take advantage by using that link, and then you could take the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer for a spin. Use the link, use code BUTLER, and that's how you can save. All right. Over to prize picks we go. We've already talked about Shane McClanahan being projected from six to eight strikeouts. That's going to be one that I'm going to take and hope for the very best. Of course, I know I'm taking it with the expectation that, hey, it could potentially fail. It could potentially let us down. Nothing is guaranteed with these tacos, with these uh, discount dogs. We know how the game goes. All right, so let's move on to some WNBA plays. We've got Ryan Howard of the Atlanta dream she's taking on to chicago today 26.5 points rebounds and assists let's go take a look here at the daily grind fantasy optimizer which does support wnba by the way super cool so we're going to punch in her name here and once we do that we're going to go find her her pra is what we're looking at today pra line is set at 26.5 on prize picks she's at 27.5 over on a site like underdog which means we're getting about a 55.6 percent edge or advantage we're basically just comparing the line set by underdog to the line set by prize picks for ryan howard's pra here so i think it looks like a good play for an over we're basically getting a one pra discount but to take things a step further and to look at this one in either in even greater depth and detail we're going to pull some projections up here for howard today and we're doing that by using uh, uh rotowire one of my favorite sites here you do have to pay for rotowire but you know i got the hookup you and i are friends we're going to look at it together so we got her for 20 points plus 4.7 boards plus another 3.6 assists that brings her up to 28.3 points rebounds and assists so things are looking pretty good here for Howard. Let's also go take a look at her PRA production uh, throughout the season so far. I mean, we're only a few games in, but there's enough for us to kind of uh, take a quick peek and see how she's been doing with this PRA line, which is set, 
again at 26.5. You can see game one against Dallas on the road, 32 PRA. Didn't play so great against Minnesota with just 18 PRA, but comes back strong against Indiana with 28 points, rebounds, and assists. So she's two for three so far this season covering this PRA number. So for me, I'm going to take the over. It's projecting well, and it's a point higher on a rival site. Uh, so it looks like a pretty good value play to me. All right, let's move on to the next one. We got Kia Nurse here at 11 and a half points. Let's go take a look at the nurse and see if we should uh, be feeling good or bad when the nurse steps into the room today on these 11 and a half points. Sorry, I got dad jokes. Let's go punch in her name to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. When we do that, you see we've got about a 55% chance that she is going to go over her 11.5 player points today. Her line set at 12.5 on a different site, so we're getting a one point discount or advantage here when we take her on prize pick. So now that we know that, let's go get a projection here for Nurse. Again, she's only played in, uh, I think, two games. One game she had kind of limited minutes, but today she's projected for 15.2 points, which is quite a bit higher than her line at 11.5. So we've got a projection, we've got a rival site who all have Nurse uh, a point higher than what her line is at over on prize picks. And uh, we're gonna go back to props.cash here. And again, if you're not using props.cash, you could definitely check it out. Save yourself 25% on props.cash by going to the bottom of this video in the description Click the link, use code Curry, and you could save yourself some money on your first month. But they also support WNBA on props.cash. Just another reason you should be using it if you haven't used it yet. Now, we look at the first game here against Las Vegas on May 20th. She only played 11 minutes in that game, so didn't get a whole lot done in the 11 minutes of court time. Now, the very next game, 29 minutes against Dallas, and against Dallas, she did manage 20 points. So I'm hoping tonight is more like the Dallas type of game and less like the Vegas type of game here. In other words, 30 minutes or more would be great for Nurse and uh, would definitely boost her chances of going over 11.5 points. So I'm going to take the over on Nurse. It's projecting over. There's another site that has her for 12.5 points. So I think we're getting a nice little edge or advantage there. All right, the next one is Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell's 2.5 three-point makes. Let's head over to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer and see which way we should be playing Kelsey Mitchell today on these three-point make props. All right, so we head down here to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Now, this one's a little different. Not only do we have uh, some underdog involvement here, underdog has her also at 2.5. This is more of a sports book play. We're looking at the odds provided to us by the sports books. And in this case, this sports book here has her as a minus 143 betting favorite to go under two and a half three point makes. So the optimal way to play this one is the under. We've got about a 52 to 53% chance that she stays under two and a half three point makes. So let's provide you with a projection on this one to see what the Rotowire projection models are looking like for Kelsey Mitchell tonight. It looks like they have her projected for two three point makes. So two or fewer and we're in good shape here. Let me show you why this doesn't look like that bad of a play. We're gonna go back over here to props.cash. We're gonna type in Mitchell's name. It's this easy folks. You click on her name, you go over to the three point make category and you see that the first three games of the season, she's only gone over this line, this number, one time. She made four threes in her season debut against Connecticut. And then the next two games, just one and two three-point makes to follow that up. So hopefully that's a sign, a trend of things to come. And she stays under two and a half three-point makes as she is projected to do. So we're going to take the under there. The next one is Nafisa Collier. Now she has gone over this line of 17.5 points in two two out of four games so far, but we're going to take a look at this and decide whether or not we should be going over on her 17.5 point prop against Dallas tonight. So back to the daily grind fantasy optimizer we go. We could type in her first or last name, really doesn't matter. We could see that at 17.5 points, she's at 17 points on a rival site, meaning we're getting about a half a point difference or advantage here. Now, based on that, it's suggested to us that we take the under. She's got about a 52.4% chance of going under 17.5. So let's apply a projection to this as well. We want to be as thorough as possible, look at as many data points as we can when we make these decisions. And in this case, we've got a projected for 14.8 points. So that's going to be quite a bit less than the line of 17.5 on prize picks. So things are looking pretty good here. And yes, we could go pull up her charts over on props.cash. 
you just simply type in her name, click on her name, head over to the points section, and you can take a look and see what she's done here. Now, she's played four games, as I mentioned, went under against Chicago, over against Atlanta, then under against Phoenix, and then comes back with a bounce back game with 21 against Las Vegas. Now, maybe there's a little pattern forming here. We've seen her go under, over, under, over, which means tonight might be a night where she goes for less than 17.5 points. If you believe in patterns and those sorts of things, it may not be the worst option in the world. So let's go ahead and click less on the Fisa Collier. And then we'll go to our very last play of the day, which is Brianna Stewart of the New York Liberty. She's at 3.5 assists, folks. And she's taking on Seattle tonight. Let's see if we should be going over or under on Brianna Stewart. Back again, rinse and repeat to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Everything I do is numbers driven. This isn't me playing the guessing game, rubbing my uh, fake crystal ball and telling you, hey, this is what's going to happen tonight. I'm just going strictly off of the data, strictly off of the number. Take what you like and leave the rest for me. I'm going to take all of these that I'm talking about. But this last one here, Brianna Stewart is at three and a half player assist, 52.1% chance that she goes under that number tonight. We've got a little bit of uh, sports book backing here. FanDuel's got a lineup for, you've also got Bovada, uh, underdog, and then uh, whatever this last sports book is. I'm not familiar with that one, but uh, minus 154 on that book for her to go under three and a half player assists. So now that we know that the under is the plus EV play, uh, plus EV for those of you who don't know, that's positive expected value. Now that we know that that is the plus EV way to go, let's go plug in her name here and get you a projection on her assist tonight. Now, Rotowire's got a projected for 2.6 dimes, which is less than 3.5. So again, that go along that goes along with the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. It correlates well with the way that the optimizer is telling us to go here. Now, let's wrap this up. We'll take a look at Brianna Stewart's assists. And to do that, we'll just click on her name. We'll click the assist tab up here. And then you can see that the first three games to start the season. Now, she's come dangerously close to going over in each and every game. She went under in the first game, under in the second game, comes back with five assists in the last game. But you can see that she's actually went under three and a half assists in two out of three games to start the season. So the under does look like not only a well-projected play, there's odds on our side and there's historical uh, charts here game logs, in other words, that we're going to go and uh, click the under on based on all of that uh, data that we've looked at. So we could put up to uh, $25 on a taco for Taco Tuesday. At least that's my limit. So I'm going to put the full 25 on this. Hopefully it goes six for six. Hopefully we hit for $625. Whatever happens, guys, I'm just thankful and humbled that you decided to join me for today's video. If you liked what I did here, make sure you're subscribed. Turn those notifications on so that you're alerted every time I drop a new piece of content. And definitely smash that like button for me. More picks can be found in our Patreon each and every day. Support the channel. Support the content. Join Patreon. I've pinned it down in the comment section below. Until the next one, guys, good luck tonight and peace out.